I've got a fantastic picture here of this whole bay with thousands of people. Let me show it to you. I remember very clearly the Easter weekend of 1967. My mom was baking. I lived across the road in Chartley House. She said, go down to the beach and go play with the boats. When I saw the Van Emden family, who I knew very well from Cubs and Scouts at the 10th Green in Seapoint launching a new boat called Lucky Jill. And I was dying to go for a ride. Unfortunately, I wasn't lucky enough to get taken with them. I sat a bit sulky on the beach watching them leave. And about two minutes later, we looked out to sea about 500 meters from here, between Trianca Bay and Rocklands, and the boat was burning profusely. The rescue shed was opened by Harry Nagel, who was the coxswain that day on duty, and Ray Lunt, I think, I'm not sure of the second man. I helped them launch the Snoopy rubber duck from shed number seven. We put it in the water, and within two or three minutes, the rubber duck had come alongside, almost boarded the burning boat, taken the Van Emden family and friend, a guy called Glenn Hennick, Andre Van Emden, the son, Marco Van Emden, and the father, Henry. By the time they got back with all the smoke burning along the beachfront, there must literally be 1,500 people lining the railings for uh, the arrival of the family safely back ashore. And that day is a day that I'll never forget. That clicked me into gear, never to leave the beach and become part of the NSRI, which I did unofficially, unofficially only in 1971.